What a beaut day. I'm out of Mangawai Heads on Folk Song, my folk boat. And this may or may not be my first bash at having a blog. God knows, maybe. This is Mangawai Heads where I live. Effing cool place. On the coast of Northland. In the North Island. Lower coast. About an hour and a half north of Auckland City. This is my boat Folk Song. I wonder if... I should put the autopilot on, but I wonder if I can run round and show you a little bit of it while the wind's calm. It's 25 foot long. It was made in Majorca apparently and bought to New Zealand by one of I, the rumour or the legend says one of Peter Blake's crew who wanted a boat for Cook Strait in Wellington. This is the inside, it's got a real wicked little double bed in the front, two singles, it ain't flash but it's real real cool and um, I'm not big on flash, but I'm real big on cool, and this is big on cool, so I'm big on it. That's not the only reason. It's a neat little boat to sail. It's easy. I like little boats because you can go out on your own. Man, the wind's calm down. That Sentinel Rock, that's amazing. Just a bit of wind shift when I, wind calm when I started this. And it's just filling in again now. That's Mangaway Head Surf Club. That's my kayak. I'm really stating the obvious. What else can I tell you? That's the sky! Oh my god! And that's the sea! There, right there. You got the big blue, big blue, everywhere blue. It's a bloody good day, actually. And I'm Jason. I'll be your captain for this um, rather bizarre talking to myself situation. I can see why people do this, though. Because you're out here, and it's kind of freaky. I mean, I love it, but there's something, you know, like you're on your own in a way that you're not normally. So, like... Oh, yeehaw! Sails are filling up, we're leaning over. Oh, I love sailing. I won't sail, well, no, I will sail, get off and I bloody do. It's just freaking awesome. If you haven't sailed, man, get out there. Life's so short, and yeah, it's freaky, especially when you're learning. Oh, damn, it's fun! There's a uh, sail a lot way out there. They're getting chicks. And over there is Little Barrier and Great Barrier. Back down there is Cape Rodney. Sailing out of Mangawai is interesting because there's a bar, so you kind of, um, you go over the bar and um, you're very much in the sea. But so, uh, Folk Song is good for this because it's long keel. It's basically a folk boat, folk boat, it's a fiberglass folk boat. It's kind of got some oddities, like it seems to be a one piece, um, one, one piece, which is really, really cool. I'll see if I, the, I can put the self steering on, but I'm not going to run I'll see if I can run inside. Why it's kind of steady. Ah! <laughs> this is pretty. <laughs> and <laughs> this is like a 10 second boat tour. Uh, God damn, yeah, yeah, I think we're running up. No? We're, yeah, we're running up. We get my hiney back out there. And this is the first sale I've had on Folk Song for about three years because I sold it and, um, to a guy called Tony who never left me away. Well, he left the harbour but he didn't sail it down the coast of Auckland where he lived. And then I had another boat. I'm a bit of a boat at it. God damn, I had about 60 yachts. But, um, uh, yeah, I had to smoke Narnia, a reactor, and he, um, we swapped back, basically. I sort of bought the reactor on a whim. It wasn't really my cup of tea. So I, um, asked him if he wanted to swap the boat, but it's just, it was a Mangawai Harbour, and, um, I, uh, I said, you know, like 10 minutes walk from where I live, so it kind of, and the reactor was in Auckland. So it made sense for both of us. That's my outboard. I um the reason why I sold in the first place it had a diesel, it's a real crappy old 1960s 12 horse. It was the bane of the damn boat. I sold it to Tony because it didn't go. Last time I sailed folks, I went out there to sail rock and it took me two hours to get there and nine hours to get back because I turned around and the front sail blew out, there's a new one, and um and then the motor wouldn't go into wind. Now we're gonna try and tack. I wonder if I should try and tack while I talk to you. God, that'll be interesting, won't it? Um, yeah, what the hang? Um, so I'm just gonna pull in the old uh, jib sheet here. Get this one ready to let go. And uh, we're gonna go round and uh, see what happens. Well, I pretty much know what happens. I'm not so much of a novice. Uh, still sailing. Oh, 
little wind's gone up a bit. All that's flapping round, isn't it? Right. I've been meaning to make a YouTube channel about my um, adventures for years. So, and um, I intend to say, so maybe I will now. Maybe you just need to start. Maybe that's what I'm doing right now. Although it's a bit crap, I know. But it'll get better maybe if I continue. And, and I like sailing. And I like talking. So maybe it'll be fun. I bet it's real windy like you hear on those videos. And you're like, oh god, maybe I want something else. But we'll see. Um, what else can I tell you? I don't know. Maybe I'll go now. Maybe we'll call this a success. Um, it's the first time I sailed it. So I'm quite wrapped. I got out the bar with the outboard. No worries, and I uh, hope you'll get back in. And um, maybe I'll give you like a 30 second tour around the outside of the boat when it's on the mooring, then you'll know I'm safe. I mean, you don't care, don't know I am, but I, I care, I guess. Um, and my family care, that's good. Um, <laughs> okay, I'll, um, yeah, toodaloo. Have a nice day, I hope you have a good life, and uh, la la. I'll, um, I'll, I'll see you next time. We, um, I decide to if this works, we'll just see. Um, don't want to ah, uh, oh, I'm gonna stop talking now. Have a good day, bye bye.